My name is Tegan and I'm differently able. Before I came into the world, the doctors were sure I wasn't going to be alive. But they checked my heart and discovered it was beating. I was struggling hard to breathe and that's when all the drama started. They whisked me out of the room without telling Dad what they were doing to me. He had to run up and down flights of stairs, back and forth, to let Mum know what was going on. When Mum was well enough to come and see me, she saw her newborn baby in an incubator, covered in needles, wearing a hat full of ice and sucking the biggest dummy ever. Within days of my birth, my parents were told I would have cerebral palsy. Later, I was diagnosed with quadriplegic cerebral palsy, which means it affects all four limbs and other muscle groups. I'm 13 years old now, and I live in a house that's been adapted to suit my needs. The outside world isn't. My home is the place I can really relax and boss people around. My mum and I are really close, and she's the first person I ask to do things for me. In fact, she does everything around the house. My dad and I are close too. He's like a big kid. He likes to play around and wind me up. My family always come first in my life, and no matter what, we look after each other. I go to a great school, and I really enjoy it, and I've got loads of really good friends there. But the absolute worst part of school has been walking down the corridors between lessons and the unwanted attention I get from the other kids. I feel trapped with their eyes on me. I have nowhere to hide from their stares, and it makes me feel really uncomfortable. Generally, people exercise to tone up their muscles, but for me, it relaxes them. I have to exercise to stop my body from stiffening up like a tree. I do physio, swimming, walking, vibrofit, but my absolute favourite is my passion. That is horse riding. I do dressage, which is a bit like doing ballet on a horse. I've won loads of competitions at dressage and plan to win loads more competitions in my life. I say that everyone is unique and so therefore different in their own way. I am differently able, but I am not disabled.